Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a really cool figure from the Black Series 6 inch line and it just so happens to be one of my favourite trooper designs from the original trilogy. It is of course none other than this guy, the Imperial Attack Driver and I'm absolutely thrilled with how this figure came out. Hasbro have done a fantastic job with it and as soon as I saw this one revealed at Star Wars Celebration Europe last year I knew that I had to have one in my collection. Really really nice figure. And if you like me and you want to get your hands on this guy, but you unfortunately missed out on the initial release, never fear, as this figure will be reissued as part of Wave 2 of the Black Series 6 inch figures to be released for The Last Jedi. So just after Force Friday, we'll see this figure hanging on shelves once again. So before we take a look at this absolutely incredible figure, we are of course going to take a look at the not so incredible packaging. Now, as you've probably seen from any of my previous reviews I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of this packaging design uh, that's not to say that it's bad uh, it's a nice design in and of itself it's just definitely time for a change we've seen this packaging design since the Force Awakens product launch and it's just time for something a little bit different and I'm a little bit disappointed to find out that this packaging design is going to continue into the Last Jedi line so Hasbro you know pick up your game give us something new uh, some of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive packaging was absolutely phenomenal and it'd be really nice to get something a little bit more unique and specialised as opposed to something that's just so, uh, in all honesty, plain and quite uniformed. But enough about that. Uh, the packaging is what we've come to expect from the 6 inch line so far. So we've got the Star Wars The Black Series logo at the top and some very nice artwork of the character down in the bottom corner. On the side of the box we've got the number in the series. And on the back, we have that artwork once again, accompanied by a brief description of the character. So again, not terrible packaging, it's just definitely time for something new. So there we go, that is the packaging that the Attack Driver comes in. Now let's take a look at this awesome figure. And here he is. Again, Hasbro have done a fantastic job with this guy. The helmet sculpt is absolutely phenomenal. The sculpt on the rest of the body and on the armour is really nice as well. And all in all, this is just a really, really nice figure. Hasbro have done a solid job with it. Considering the fact that we really don't see all that much of the attack drivers in the Empire Strikes Back, you know, again, it's one of my favourite designs. I just love this combination of the jumpsuit and the armour. And the helmet is a really nice design as well. And in many ways, it's almost like a negative of the TIE Fighter pilot. The costume is very similar but the colours are obviously reversed and that's just something that I've always found really cool about this guy. So we'll run through articulation with him first and then we'll touch base on the details and some of the accessories that he comes with. First and foremost he does of course feature a ball joint and a hinge at the neck so you can look up, down, all around, although do be careful with those tubes that connect from the helmet to the chest box as if you you know raise the helmet too high, not that you can really do that as the pipes are prohibitive of that movement in the head. Um, but if you do give this one a little bit too much force, then those pipes are, you know, likely to snap. So just be careful with those. Um, he does feature hinges at the shoulders, elbows, and wrists as well. Very similar to the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One. The shoulder pads on this figure have been made of a soft and flexible plastic, so that when you bend the shoulder, you can get it right high up like that, and the shoulder plate actually moulds around the shoulder to accommodate that posability which is really really good. You've also got a ball joint at the torso, hinges at the hips, swivels at the upper thigh, a double joint in the knee and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So again standard articulation that we've come to expect from the Black Series 6 inch line and he can definitely be seated inside an ATAT or an ATAT depending on your preference when it comes to pronunciation. Obviously a 6 inch ATAT would be absolutely bloody huge but uh, it would be cool to see nonetheless. Maybe a, an ATAT head would be you know, a decent compromise for a playset or something. That would be pretty cool to see. Uh, in terms of accessories, the ATAT driver comes with the Imperial E11 blaster, which is the standard issue blaster we've seen with Stormtroopers, TIE Pilots and all the other Imperial forces in the Black Series 6 inch line. And again, going back to what I said at the beginning of the review, 
The detail on this guy is really, really nice. I'm a huge fan of the paint applications. You've got those red Imperial Cog emblems on the top of the helmet. Really cool faceplate there. The iconic Stormtrooper look. Really nice details in the buttons, lights and switches on the chest box. Got that wrist communication device on the glove there. Some nice detail on the back plate as well. Just a really solid sculpt. And again, the likeness of the outfit from the movie has been captured really, really well. Uh, in the movie, we only see these guys very briefly from the back and sort of half way down the face. Um, so again, it's just really cool to have a, a figure of this outfit. Considering the little amount of screen time it got in the movie, uh, behind the scenes photos of it, of course, and all that other good stuff just allowed us I'm rambling. It's just a cool figure. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's awesome. That's the point I'm trying to make. But yeah, very, very cool indeed. Really do like this figure, and if you can pick it up, I highly recommend you do so. Again, if you missed out on it the first time around and you're struggling to find it in stores, just wait it out. It'll be available again in a couple of months' time. And as always, there are links down below in the video description where you can purchase this figure for yourself. So if you enjoyed having a look at this guy, I will be back with some more Black Series 6 inch reviews very soon. I've got some older figures to give you a look at before obviously the avalanche of products from The Last Jedi comes rolling in. So stay tuned for all of those. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.